happy people, it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a life crafted layout using the Coco Daisy Elegance Blooms collection and today I'm going to be showing you some techniques for using floral clusters, actually for creating large clusters on like I'm using busy papers here and I'm going to be using large floral clusters, large hearts. Um, so I'm going to be talking about techniques for layering. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build the base of my layout and I'm actually going to frame um, this layout with some paper tears from the coordinating paper. So you can see I am um, putting these paper tears down on the outside edge, <clears throat> excuse me, on the outside edge of this page and what that does is it frames the page and the busy paper with the coordinating sides like paper like the base of the of the layout and that gives your eye somewhere to sort of rest on this busy paper and I'm actually going to put it on the inside edge so that it extends out from the left hand side into the right hand side so it sort of leads your eye across the page and I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to put it on the outside edge with the paper from the opposite side so this just automatically ties both sides of the layout together even though I'm using two very different papers for each side um, obviously the papers go together color wise but because they're so different um, it needed to tie both together so now I'm going to start building my page and I have these three photos of these nail wraps that I've been trying. You can see I'm wearing a pair in the video. I'm trying to stop biting my fingernails and that's like the whole point of this layout. Um, but the pictures are pretty and girly so I thought that I would use a lot of florals and hearts with this spread so that um, it just kind of rode on the girly coattails of the photos so to speak. So I'm going to keep this photo layout very linear and what that's going to do is that's going to give my eye a visual like you can see the visual verticals between the way that I laid my photos out the paper strips framing the pages and the vertical journal card it all gives a very linear effect for the layout so that I can start building sort of wild wildish clusters on the layout that are going to break that linear vibe a bit. So I also put my um, title, a large title, very linear too. So we're, we've got a lot of up and down verticals going on. I'm going to do the same thing with this paper strip that I had sitting along, uh, you know, sitting, sitting in my scraps. I'm going to make it into a banner and I'm going to, that's going to just reinforce the vertical. And once I've done all of this sort of vertical work, now I can go in and start building my clusters. And the key to clusters, large um, embellishment clusters, is to vary the size. So I'm going to start with, as soon as I get this down, I'm going to start with the largest portions of my clusters. And that is, of course, going to be the very large um, floral clusters that are included in the die cuts in the Elegance Blooms collection. Uh, I decided I wanted some cute little heart washy to, to stick this down. <laughs> then I'm going to start building my clusters. So, all right, now we're ready. So I wanted to make sure that I had a place for these word strips that I wanted to include. So I sort of stuck them down as placeholders for my embellishment clusters. This will change a little bit. Um, they're just basically where I want to build things. Um, but this is where I started because I wanted to make sure I wanted to like remind myself that I wanted these <laughs> on top of these floral clusters that I'm going to build. So I think I have, I end up adding one more, but one of them is going to go while I start um, making my actual layout. Can't decide what I want. <laughs> Currently loving, be still my heart. So when building clusters, a really great rule of thumb for any sort of embellishment is the rule of three, right? Um, three embellishment clusters or three points of contact for my or for your embellishment clusters. Now 
I'm actually going to break that rule. I'm going to build four different embellishment clusters, but it's going to work and you'll see why. So I'm starting with these very large florals. And I used this one over here on the floral paper because they have a white background and it sort of breaks up all of that black. Um, so I, I really like that even though they were both florals, um, it kind of gave your eye somewhere to rest. So I'm going to build one at the top and one at the bottom of this um, banner, but I decided I liked this blue flower over here. I wasn't going to include a lot of blue, but the leaves in my photos read very cool, very blue, so I thought it really helped incorporate those photos into um, the layout too, so it worked. So I'm going to build another um, floral cluster down here at the bottom to frame this um, journal card and my journaling. And it also helps it give it a little bit more vertical weight too. So now that I have my florals, I'm going to start building my smaller embellishments on top of the florals, which is going to be these chipboard hearts. So I pulled all the, the hearts that I might use for this layout to the right here, but um, I'm going to start including hearts and like putting hearts back based on process of elimination. So what I decide I want to do is I want to include all of the chipboard hearts instead of any of the other hearts. So I'm just going to add in hearts where I think I want them to go. And you can see I put a blue heart up in the top um, left hand corner and so I'm going to build a fourth cluster up there. And normally I would only advocate for three um, for like beginner cluster building, but this one really needed a fourth one up here at the end of the title because the title ends sort of abruptly and so this just sort of frames that title in and makes it look like it's not missing something at the end. So I need another floral, so I was going through the flowers to um, decide what I wanted to use. And you can see that this one is a little bit smaller than the rest of the flowers that I chose. And the heart is a little bit bigger than um, most of the other hearts. That black and white one down there in the right corner is the largest, but that's because there's a lot of open space down at the bottom. So you can see I started with the largest cluster, which was the florals. Then I added on a smaller one, which are the hearts. And I also have a horizontal word strip in two of my clusters, which breaks up the shape of it as well. So you've got a lot of different shapes going on and it makes your clusters more interesting to look at. So the smallest embellishments are going last. They are going to be these hearts, these little tiny chipboard hearts. And you can see that this really um, is coming together, but I felt like I needed a little bit more embellishment, a little bit more framing. So I'm going to add some half circles to this vertical um, photo cluster. So that sort of adds a little bit more. I'm going to use this half circle that I cut off. And I'm going to use that for the date. So now we've got like two sets of dueling uh, cluster variations going on and it makes visual sense because they're like two different kinds of clusters, right? You've got half circles for one and you've got the hearts and flowers for the other. So it doesn't look like too much because you've got different shapes going on. That is a lot to, <laughs> to consume in one video. So, uh, sorry if that was an information overload, but I wanted to teach a little bit more with this video rather than just talk about what I'm doing. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. If you're new to Coco Daisy and would like to start a subscription, you can use my name at checkout and get a coupon towards a future purchase when you start a new subscription. All right, thank you.